suck is the hardest part. Four reps. nice sunny day and it's relatively warm too so over the past couple of days uh, I haven't been juggling the kettlebell mostly because when the weather is cooler um, uh, the mist catches hurt more in any case since today is a nice day I want to start off with some juggling and then move into the main workout I uh, don't really have a theme in mind for today's workout yet, but I'll probably come up with something. So let's just jump to some juggling. Ah, it was going good. It was going good. For those of you who might be new here, kettlebell juggling is something that I do for fun. Uh, it's a sport that originated in Russia and used to be done by circus performers and stuff. In any case, uh, there's different versions of juggling and I do something called freestyle juggling. There's classical juggling and power juggling as well. But you can look that up in your own time. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this because it gets the heart rate high and uh, uh, it's fun for me to do. Not bad again.
Uh, I, if I start getting good at something called an over the shoulder flip, so it looks like this. Once I get that move down, I think I should be able to string up some more interesting sequences. I feel like I've kind of hit a plateau with the kind of moves I do. And I do need to work on at least a couple of new things. Like, so I do this flip and ideally I would like to have it flip twice before I catch it. Anyway, so there's just a couple things like that that I want to work on as far as my kettlebell juggling is concerned. But yeah. All right, final sequence. Try to make it a complete one. <laughs> Alright, let's end it there. Might end the workout with some juggling too. Let's kind of sandwich the whole workout in between some juggling sessions. But yeah, on to the main workout. So, for the first part, or first set of exercises, uh, doing steel mace 360s with my 25 pound mace, and then suitcase deadlifts with my 100 and six pound kettlebell so just gonna do 10 360s And then suitcase that lifts. <sighs> Going for eight each side. Oh, that was my fourth set. I'm going to do one more for five and then on to the next thing. I'm trying to keep minimal rest between sets around uh, a minute max. And yeah, just trying to keep the heart rate up and get a good sweat in. So I'm thinking about focusing on the lower body using the heavy kettlebell uh, at least for the rest of the workout so in the previous exercise that was suitcase deadlifts with the heavy kettlebell which uh, targets glutes and hamstrings but also the core quite a bit and from that I was like why not just do uh, a lot of kettlebell based or heavy kettlebell based leg movements for the rest of the workout and then superset it with some steel mace and steel club stuff so yeah, I think for the rest of the workout, I think I'm going to uh, like somewhat focus on lower body uh, with the heavy kettlebells and then superset them with steel club and steel mace movements. 
but uh, you know, uh, subject to change, maybe might just end up uh, doing some legs with the steel club and whatnot. In any case, uh, for the next set of movements, doing uh, a tactical clean to squat. So, using my 79.4 pound kettlebell, uh, which is 36 kilos. I'm going to do three each side. Then, with my 106 pound kettlebell, we're going to do alternate kettlebell deadlifts for six each side. And then to finish off with my 15 pound mace doing single arm 10 to 2 is alternated. So this is what I'm doing for now. Um, I have a 30 pound mace that I bought that is supposed to be delivered today. Um, depending on when it arrives, uh, I might record the unboxing of it and then my first couple of swings with it. Hopefully it gets here soon enough. And also, like these kind of days, where the sun is out and the temperature is nice doesn't isn't going to come very often for the next uh, I don't know six months or so maybe longer and I kind of want to stay in the sun a lot longer uh, but like slowly the sun is going to go behind some trees and then the my yard falls into shade and I have some internet people working on my connection at the moment. So, I don't know. Uh, this is a maybe, but the workout might get cut out into two portions. So that I can uh, chase the sun a little bit more and go to the playground. But yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, this was my second set of this. I'm going to do three more. Then on to the next thing. So for the next set of movements, doing a tactical, a tactical snatch to overhead squat. So, tactical snatch, and then stay keeping it in the overhead position. I'm going to do four overhead squats. Switching sides. Repeat it one more time on each side.
and then with my 25 pound club I'm going to do a club bell clean to pull over Going for six each side. So yeah, this is what I'm doing for now. When I first got the club bells, which was not that long ago, maybe three weeks, my forearms would burn quite a bit. While doing these movements, I couldn't even do a pullover without having assistance with the other arm. So yeah, within a pretty decent time frame, my body is getting adapted to the club bell and I can do movements like the pullover and stuff with one arm uh, so yeah definitely progress uh, and then earlier with the kettlebell clean to squat I was able to do that with uh, relative ease to compared to previous videos so yeah uh, progress overall uh, I'm going to do this for five sets and then whatever's next is next <sighs> had to take a break to help the internet technician with some stuff but yeah we're back again so uh, going to finish off with the heavy kettlebell um, so going to do a complex not going to superset it with the steel mace thing or anything like that uh, earlier in the video I had mentioned I was hoping my 30 pound steel mace would arrive but it hasn't yet it was supposed to and I'm still hoping that it does in any case uh, with the heavy kettlebell first let me get this into a position uh, going to do uh, goblet squats for four reps so <sighs> Getting this up is the hardest part. Oof. Four reps. Oof. 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 Then I'm going to do four deadlifts. And eight kettlebell swings. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to do this complex for uh, five sets to finish off. Uh, I said I might do some juggling and stuff. Decided to end off with some kettlebell juggling to finish off and then we'll go on a walk. Uh, a short juggling session though. I'm not trying to make it too long. <laughs> Not bad, but yeah, it's gonna be it for the video.
so my steel mace arrived um, by the time I got back from my walk so uh, I'm going to do an unboxing It would be a lot easier with a knife, but uh, I don't want to go into my apartment and wake up my cat just to get out again. Although, it might need to be done. Yeah. Alright, back outside with a knife. So this is a brand that I don't have yet so my other steel maces are called Yes For All and this thing is a brand called Orion. I don't know if all the steel maces are in picture right now but I guess here's a comparison between my 25 and 30 pound maces. So yeah quite a big size increase and let me try swinging it my first swings with it I also noticed that the handle is a bit thicker than the other ones okay let's try to swing this Not bad at all. <sighs> Definitely feels heavier than the 25 pound. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> nice. Let me do some alternate tentatives. Switching overhands. Oh, the main difference that I notice with this one is the thickness of the handle. All my other maces have the pretty much same handle size, but they're and they're thinner. This one's a thicker handle but doesn't seem too difficult to get used to uh excited to keep excited to use this uh but i'm already done working out for today uh going to go home video edit uh but yeah now this is the official end of the video uh see you all tomorrow